Hello friends, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator in the US at FrenchieStamps.com. Today I'm going to share with you the wonderful moment. You can see the bright here. The dress, it's like cut halfway. So I'm going to share with you how to alternate that to have the long dress. So you can see now I got the long dress. So first thing we're going to do, I'm doing all this on, um, let me think here, shimmer card stock. I mean the main design. I'm going to stamp that with basic black memento, I mean the black memento ink. So we're going to take this, let me move that. And I'm going to stamp a little bit more on the right so I can bring the dress down. And also it gives me the place to put my greeting there. Et voilà. Now I'm going to use the, they used to call a project uh, life, now it's memory and more pen. And if you're wondering what page that is, let me uh, share with you uh, memory and more. Project Kit. Uh, I had it open just a second ago. I'm sorry about this. Embellishment. Memory and more. Here it is. If you're wondering about the catalog tab, I get that on uh, my uh, site. So you get the memory and more. The journaling pen, they are on page 170. So that is the pen that I'm using to do the alternation of the dress. In the pen, you get two. You get the point zero 0.01, and I had it here, okay. So you get the point zero 0.01, and you get the point zero 0.05. The point zero 0.05, it's thicker, and that's what I'm going to use. It is no right and wrong. So here I'm just going to keep on, and it's still, uh, the tip is finer than the, the stamp itself. So I'm going to share with you how I done this. So I'm just going to bring this down, and then I'm going to come back. And it doesn't matter if you're very straight or not, because <clears throat> it's, uh, it's a dress. It's just flowing. And here I went this way. You don't have to do all the way to the bottom. Here I just add another little bit here just to give some uh, flair. That would be the right word, I guess. And some of them I don't have to go twice. It's just flow down very lovely. Like here, I can see where my line is. So I'm just going to keep on going till I get that. Here we go. And then I'm going to come here. See how simple this was? So now that I got this done, what I done, and you can maybe even add a little bit more just here, just to give the flair of the dress. Now, even if it's on shimmer paper, I use my Wink of Stella and I apply more um, glimmer, put it that way, that's the Wink of Stella. One thing you want to be careful, where you stamp with the wing, uh, the Memento ink, that won't bleed. It's very, I mean, won't bleed, maybe a little bit. So you want to be careful, not really to rub where you did the stamping. So you just want to flare that a little bit with your Wink of Stella to give even more shimmer. That's it. Now, for the coloring, I use, for the skin, I think I used the light though, um, I don't remember, so we'll see, the petal pink, and let's see if I use the light, or the, yes, I use the light petal pink for the skin, so the blend, uh, the stamping blend, I use the light, and I just add a little bit here, you don't need much, just, and don't forget a little bit curving here on the face, that is it. Now, for the air, uh, you can do the color air of the bride. I want to see, make sure I'm in the, here we go. So, I use the soft suede, and I use the light one. You can use any color. You can use even a yellow, maybe, for a blondie, or bl black. I would 
be careful not too dark and I just color it I didn't blend anything I could have put eye lights and so on but we're going to put the veil also so the veil it is with the tool oh let's do the color uh, I use um, flirty flamingo for the colors you can use anything that you want and I just did see tap 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 a little bit and then I came with the light old olive to put a little bit of greenery in her bouquet usually you know you get a little bit of greenery in the bouquet so I just I didn't follow any of that I just add a bit here and there put it that way now and this year I fold this into and now you're gonna ask me how much well it doesn't well you don't want too long I'm looking for scissors here you don't want too long because you're gonna have to trim more but you want oh uh, let's say uh, this is about what uh, four inch four and a half and then you're gonna do another little piece about half of that I would say about three now you're gonna put that in the center there I try many ways to do my veil and this one was very very simple I just tied this up here see now the top here I wanted a little bit of poof on the hair there so I got the two I got the three now this was too much to add see it was like almost like I don't know so you can cut it or you can fold it below and what I done I fold it below so <clears throat> I use a glue dot in the back of this oh that would be the back here and then I just fold this don't worry about the length we're going to give it the trim when we uh, put it on and then I just fluff this up here a little bit see just a little poof Okay, now this is done we're gonna take another glue dot and we're gonna put that right in her hair see oh well you know what I'm not doing any trimming on this one I like the center it's a little bit longer or maybe a little bit on the side Okay, I'm back. I'm sorry. The battery went dead. I didn't check the battery before starting. So what you miss, I trimmed just a little bit of the veil there. I think this is looking very perfect. It looked like a poofy veil. And then this one, I stamped for the bride in Seaside Spray. I know most people like in the pinkish for a bride, but I, this blue, it's kind of a... A bluish uh, with a little bit of lavender in it I absolutely love it plus I love a uh, blue so I put I stamp for the bright I mount the shimmer cardstock into the seaside spray that measure four by five and a quarter and then into a card base that measure five and a half by eight and a half score at four and a quarter give you a regular size card Inside, I stamp the congratulation and best wishes for a future filled with love and happiness. All in the same set, wonderful moments. And this one was done in the Blushing Bride. And I don't know how much on the camera you can see, but if you, oh, the glitter on, the glimmer on this is very lovely. And inside this one, I did the Blushing Bride. So, if voila, see this, um, uh, veil it's a little bit more tight there's been how you squeeze uh, the glue dot this one it's a little bit more loose I mean uh, more uh, spread out so that is it on how to alternate the wedding dress uh, trust me when it comes for stamping this wedding uh, dress alternation it's a very simple compared to real life alternation of a wedding dress that is it for me for today for all the measurement and the supplies list or to um, order it, just click below. You're going to have the direct link for this with all the measurement and supply or above in the eye. All in the U.S. can shop 24-7 on my blog at FrenchyStamps.com. Thank you so much and have a lovely day, my friend. Bye-bye for now.